Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Row. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, feel free to do so to keep up with our ACF tutorials. In this video, I'm going to be going over Ascent Combat Framework in Unreal Engine 5. I was asked how to make a true first person character, just like what you're seeing on the screen right now. So let's go ahead and get into it. So currently in your uh, full sample, you'll probably see these when you go to your um, full sample, blueprint, characters, and player. And you'll see your ACF base player, full player BP, and your full player UE4. I personally like to use my UE4 one um, as my third person. So yeah, my, my UE4 character looks just like this, just your regular third person. But I transformed him into a true first person looking character. And the way I did that is I actually went to my base player right here. And you're going to notice that even in your base player, you can't parent the spring arm or the camera to your mesh, which is what you want to do. So I just kept going up until I went to ACF player character BP. And all I did was duplicate this. And I just made a separate character from ACF player character BP in your plugins folder. And I called it first person test. So I just typed in first person test. And you can really call this whatever you want as long as it's pretty organized. So I'm gonna copy this and do this ACF underscore FP player character BP. And when you go to your viewport, you're gonna see that your camera's still out just like a third person. So what I'm gonna do is just delete my spring arm and parent my camera to my mesh and then i'm going to go to the parent socket click this magnifying glass and select head and now i'm just going to move it over to the head kind of get the best one or best place that i can to make it look like it's true first person and i'm also going to rotate it to the right by 90 degrees and i'm just going to make sure that this gizmo is anywhere in front of the character and I actually already have one done for my first person test. So I just set up to these for 10, 22, negative 90, and 90 for the rotation. And you might have to do it differently because I am using my Sinti character for this one. And because he has a really big helmet. So eventually once you get that done, you will need to get some certain animations to work better. But for the purpose of this tutorial, just to show how true first person is done, I'm just using the default ACF full sample stuff. And now that you're, you made a duplicate of your ACF player character BP, and I named mine first person test, then what you're going to do is make a clone for each of these. So you're going to go down in order and parent it. So for example, your ACF base player has a parent of ACF player character BP. And we duplicated that and changed the camera and called it ACF underscore FP underscore player character BP or first person test if you're following with me. So now what I did was just create a clone and then ACF, let me do FP base player BP. And then I'm just going to go into this and hit class settings here and default this to that first person test that I created the first person test. And then I'll hit save and then I'll go back to my, and I'm just going to drag this in here into FP. So I dragged it into this FP folder for first person. And then you're going to do the same thing with the ACF full player BP, just control D to duplicate or just right click duplicate and then ACF FP full player BP. And then we're going to parent this to the ACF FP base player. And if you forget the name, it'll be up here. And I just added an FP between the ACF and base or whatever the next word is. So ACF underscore FP underscore base player BP. Then I'll reparent and then I'll save and I'll drag it in the folder. And then finally, I'll do it for my main character and just parent it to my ACF FP full player BP. And now I saved them all here in this FP folder. So I'm just going to drag my ACF FP full, full player UE4 out on here. And then I'll save it and hit play. And my character is wearing a helmet. So I do have the camera a bit more forward so it doesn't cut through. But you're going to notice that when I look down, I can see my character's full body. It looks really cool. And then if I go over here and interact with this chest that I made, you know, you can hear it, I can pick up from it. And then when I fight, since my animations are not for first person combat, it's actually for third person, you're gonna see since the camera is attached to my head, it's gonna be pretty wobbly. So yeah, it's gonna be kind of hard to understand what's going on, but that's pretty much how the combat looks. One issue that I'm having is when I do the execute, my characters just stuck. So yeah, I just need to disable that, uh, any execution stuff and I'll be good. And I need a first person animations. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment what you want to see next. And I'll definitely update this in the future. But this is a pretty cool, um, pretty cool thing that I really like to see. So yeah, if you want to support the channel, feel free to hit that link in the description below. That'll be my Patreon. Oh. And yeah, thank you.